The team behind Mistral AI is on fire. 11 weeks ago, we covered a video on Mistral AI's 7 billion parameter model, which outperformed Llama 2 and many others. It's the most powerful 7 billion parameter model that's out there. And now, just today, they released a new model called Mistral. It's basically a version 2 update of Mistral's original model. It outperforms Llama 2's 70 billion parameter model and GPT 3.5 on most benchmarks with its small parameter size. Now, this comes at an inference cost of only 12 billion off its dense model, and this is with a 32k token context size. Now, they've basically fine tuned the original Mistral 7 billion model to an impressive 8x. Now, the significant correlation between the weights of the two models is a testament to the successful reuse of this original model. Now, this approach could basically empower the OSS community with its own robust MOE. Now, this mixture is a particular model that is strong on science, code, and it can even speak French, Italian, German, Spanish, and obviously English. Let's just briefly take a look at the performance. This is where they compare Mixtral to Llama 2 family as well as GPT 3.5's base model. And it's basically showcasing as how good it basically is with a small parameter size. And we can see that it's comparing this model with the other various types of models on various different types of benchmarks. We have MMLU, which is an MCQ in 57 subjects. This is a new benchmark that they have been working with. They have Hella Swag, our ARC Challenge, you have Vino Grande, NBPP, you have GSMAK, as well as MT Bench. Now, from all of these different benchmarks, we can see that Llama 2's 70 billion parameter model is only able to outperform Mixtral's new 7 billion parameter model off the Vino Grande score. And this was not even that far off from its score in comparison to Mixtral's score. Now, if we compare it to GPT 3.5 versus Mixtral, we can see that it beats it on almost everything, just one score, and that is the MT Bench. And we can also see that there's not a far difference in terms of the score. Now, this just goes to show that this new model is quite impressive as you can see from the benchmarks, but it just shows that such a small parameter size fine-tuned with the approach developed by Mistral AI is able to push the development of smaller large language models to the next level. It just shows that it's able to do it cheaper, effectively, and at a better performance rate in comparison to these larger models that are backed by bigger institutions. Now, not only did they just release this model of Mixtral, but we can see that they also focused on the lab platform, which is also like basically called the platform. This is just a French translation of it. But this is basically where they launched their first AI endpoints that are available in early access at the current moment. It's something that we're going to take a look at, but it serves three in-house models. They have the tiny model, the small model, as well as the medium model. This is something that we'll go a little bit more in depth as we uncover what they truly mean as we go forward into the video. But throughout today's video, we're going to take a look at uncovering what Mixtral is truly about by taking a look at some of the benchmarks, obviously, but taking a further look at the testing, the data set, and so much more. We're also going to take a look at how you can get access of these new models and basically take a look at some models that are already uploaded on Hugging Face. But with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight to it. If you would like to access our private Discord where you can access subscriptions to AI tools for free, get networking opportunities, collaboration, daily AI news, you have various different AI topics being discussed on the Discord, as well as a lot of support, definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Mixtral which is a new high quality sparse mixture of experts. Now this is a model that they just released and basically Mistral AI is something that 
is trying to provide the developer community with the top-notch open models that are out there. It's trying to advance AI in a different type of approach throughout the open source field. And they're exploring new types of technologies, methods, and approaches to improving AI models. Now, today they were excited to release this new model called Mixtral. And it's something that is eight times larger or fine-tuned eight times further off its base model. It's a high quality model that is part of like a sparse mixture of experts, which is SMOE. And this is something that many of us probably saw on Twitter recently. It has open baits. It's currently licensed under Apache 2.0. Now, Mixtural is something that performs better than Llama 2, 70 billion parameter on most tests, and it's six times faster in providing results. This is something that we saw previously in the introduction, and it's currently the best open source weight model with a flexible license that offers the best balance of costs as well as performance. Now, something else that I saw that was quite impressive, obviously, is that it beat GPT 3.5 on most benchmarks. But something that stood out to me more is how it was able to handle a context of 32K tokens. It's something that can understand English, French, Italian, German, and Spanish. They are continuously working on adding more languages, which shows that they are continuously updating and evolving their models. It excels quite good in generating code and it can be fine-tuned to follow instructions of achieving a score of 8.3 on MT benchmark. But in simple terms, we can see that Mistral AI is sharing a powerful and versatile AI model that can definitely push a new approach in terms of fine-tuning and developing AI models in the open source field. So before we go on further, let's try to understand what this sparse mixture of expert network is truly about. It's something that they've integrated with its new brown groundbreaking model by introducing Mixtral. And it's through this special kind of network called sparse mixture of experts. But basically, this network is designed to be a decoder-only model. So in simple terms, it's a smart system that decodes information. Now, instead of using all the parameters basically something that many of these other types of models do, like Llama, for example. In this case, they basically have it set so that the settings are there to make the model work with the base model parameter limit. And this is for every piece of information it actually processes through the actual model. So Mixtral basically selects from eight different types of group settings. Now, each of these groups are called experts. They handle specific tasks, they can make a decision, and this is through making the network known as a router. It chooses two types of expert groups for each piece that of information or a token, for example, and it combines the results in this network. This method is something that allows Mixtral to have a large total number of settings, and it's something that can use only a small fraction of its parameter size for each piece of information. This is something that makes the approach in fine tuning and using such models so much more efficient by processing the input and generating output at the same speed as well as the cost of a model with fewer settings. Now, as you mentioned at the start, Mixtral is something that is pre-trained on data extracted from the open web. This basically means that it's teaching both the experts and the routers simultaneously but in simple terms, it basically means that Mistral AI has developed Mistral to be a smart and efficient model by making the most out of its settings while keeping things speedy as well as cost effective through this new approach of sparse Mistral networks. So we have taken a look as to what the performance of Mixtral does in comparison to Llama 2 and GPT 3.5 at the start of this video. But I want to take a look at this graph, which provides more of a detailed information about the results we see from the graph previously. But we can see it's a closer look at the numbers behind how it performs in terms of the inference budget in comparison to Mistral's original 7 billion parameter model and comparison to Mixtral's new model but this is with each of the benchmarks that we saw previously in comparison to math you have comprehension mmlu and such forward we can see that mixtral does a great job in preserving its efficiency in comparison to mistral's original model in the inference budget
now if you want to take a look at more details for this new mixture model definitely take a look at the blog post which gives you a more detailed analysis on this but i want to go forward with the platform which is their first ai endpoint that's available in early access now this is something that is accessible at this current moment through a waitlist and i'll leave that link in the description below but let's us now take a look at what this actually means so in simple terms what this basically means is that mistral ai is now sharing this powerful generative model that they developed with its users and this is by providing them easy ways to use them in real world applications this is through their endpoint which they have now firstly developed they basically introduced this beta access that you can access through the platform and it offers three chat endpoints for creating text based on instructions as well as embedding endpoints. Now each of these endpoints have different balances between the performance as well as the cost and the first two endpoints are basically through Mistral Tiny and Mistral uh, I believe Small and you can basically use these models that are already available. The third model that they released is Mistral Medium, and this is something that uses a new model they are testing for better performance in the deployed setting. It's something that can process all the languages that we talked about, and it's these, these basic models are used to tailor based off of different types of instructions that you give it. They put effort into making them more user friendly, and it's something that you can take a look at on their blog post. I'll leave a link to this so that you can get started and you can sign up to their first platform services today. Now, before we end off, I want to mention a couple of things. Together.ai, which is another AI uh, institution that basically was testing how fast this new MOE is. And this is by testing the inference for it. And we can see in this video demo that it is incredibly super fast. It's faster than anything that I have seen. And we can see that from this prompt, it's able to generate it very, very fastly. Now, this is something that you're going to be able to access through the platform. So you can definitely try it out with together.ai at this current moment but you'll be able to also do this through their platform. Now, you're also able to access this new model, which was fine-tuned. And obviously, you can download this, but I'm not too sure if it's going to be available everywhere. But you can definitely start playing around with this with the link in the description below, which I'll leave afterwards. But that's basically it for today's video on Mistral AI's new Mistral model. This is definitely groundbreaking as this new approach is definitely going to revolutionize the way we basically train and use these smaller open source models. But that's basically it. I'll leave all the links in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, guys. I really, really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe, follow us on Twitter, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.